Let me show you real quick how to add a virtual home button back to your iPhone's home screen, just like we used to have, and then how to customize it even further. To get started, first find and then open the settings app on your iPhone's home screen. Once you're inside of here, scroll down a little bit and then here in the center, you're gonna see accessibility, choose this. Inside of the accessibility menu, here under the second section called physical and motor, you'll see touch. At the top inside of here, you'll see assistive touch and it's currently off. Choose this and then to turn on the virtual home button, just tap the slider to the right to turn it on. After that, you'll then see a button appear on your screen. If you wanna change the location of the button, you can also press and then just move it around to different spots on your screen if you wanna do that. When you first turn this on, by default, the home button is gonna work like this. If you just tap it once, you'll get a menu with a few different options. We can use this as a shortcut to our notification or our control center. We can use it to quickly interact with Siri, or we can tap home to head to our home screen. But let's go ahead and customize it so that it acts just like the home button. Head back into your settings menu, and then here under custom actions, tap single tap. Once you're inside of here, we wanna change this to home. Now when we single tap this button, it's gonna automatically take us to our home screen just like the original button used to. We can then make a couple other adjustments to add some more functions to the button. Head back into settings and then tap back to go back to the custom actions menu. This time, let's choose double tap and let's say we want that menu back. So inside of here, let's choose open menu. Now if I double tap the button, I get that menu that we got when we first did single tap. We'll go ahead and head back again, and then this time, let's choose long press. The first thing, let's set up how long the long press actually takes to happen. Tap long press duration at the top, and then in here, you can set how long you have to hold before this takes effect. I'll just leave it to the default 0.85, and then head back again, and then let's say instead of swiping up to use our app switcher, let's make our long press do this instead. So now, if I long press on my button, we'll see that the app switcher comes up. And if I had a ton of different apps in here, then I'd be able to quickly see all of them. All of these different settings are personal preference, and you can try different actions out if you want to. It's just I find that these are the ones that I use the most often. So again, I can single tap to go back home, double tap the button to bring up the menu, and then I can press and hold it to bring up my app switcher. And that's how you add and customize the virtual home button on your iPhone's home screen. Thanks for watching.